Hey guys, welcome to Easy Paintings by Ishita. Today, instead of baking, I am painting a cake. This is to celebrate 1000 subscribers. So I sincerely thank every one of you to be so supportive in my journey. And let's begin and check out the materials we would need. To begin, I have taken a canvas sheet and I'm mixing black with white to make shade of grey. So here we will be using two shades of grey to make a difference between the horizontal wall and the vertical wall. So let's see how we do this. So as the horizontal wall is done, I'm now mixing black with white. This is a little darker grey than the one above. This is the vertical space where we will be placing our cake. Once that is done, I have taken a liner brush and I have actually marked in some horizontal and vertical lines with the help of my ruler and with that I'm just tracing over with the help of acrylics. So this is black in color and this will create an illusion that one is a vertical wall, one is a horizontal space to keep the cake, you know, the cake stand. And now I'm making some markings so that it looks as if it's a wooden appearance. You can make any scribbles as you want. Now with the help of white, I will begin to make my cake. So now as the base layer white cake is done, let's make a stand. So this will be a black dish on which the cake will be placed. Now with the help of black, I am marking the stripes onto the cake. So take a brush that is not very fat, not very thin. So make sure each horizontal lines are of the same measurement. The gaps should be same. And now for the last stripe, I'm mixing it a little white in it to make it a grey so that we can see a difference between the cake and the cake stand. So friends, now I'm applying black on top of the cake because later I will be covering it with gold. So here's a big tip for y'all. If you have your metallics, always make a test before applying it on your final project because normally they have a very transparent consistency. So just check how it will look on top of white, on black, on different colors and depending upon the outcome, you can then choose how you want to layer it. So I'm first covering my cake with black because the gold on black is very vibrant the, the gold that I'm using. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just you know using the black one to make a dripping effect and later I will be covering that with the help of gold.
Now I'm covering it with gold. So guys, I'm located in India and on Amazon India, we have a very beautiful vibrant gold color, which is from the brand Flash. So I'm using the Indian gold shade. The shade number is 100. Do try this out because I'm very pleased with the results. So now let's cover this entirely with gold. And now with the help of a liner brush, I'm, up, I'm applying gold on the drippings of the chocolate. So this gold I'm applying a little next to the black lines I have made. This will show us a shadowing effect that the drops are falling and there's a little, you know, shadow, a black shadow next to it. Now let's start making the roses. So I have chosen a pink color, which is very light pink. With that, some yellow and some crimson red. Now as the base is done, I have taken a liner brush and I am covering the petals with the help of crimson on pink. So I will be layering the flowers a couple of times to get the effect that I want. So just take your time and do this step guys because the more you pay attention towards the flowers, the more real it will look. Now with the help of a dark green color, I'm making some greens. And now time to play some cake toppers, 1000 it is. So guys, here is our cake, which is ready. What I did is I splashed some gold beside the cake. I made some little gold hearts on the top 
and it is looking very very pretty so i hope you liked it and if you like it do try it yourself you can visit my instagram and facebook profile to tag me and let me know how yours turned out so thank you very much for watching kindly subscribe guys and do leave me comments under to tell me how did your turned out see you soon guys and yes, I'm starting a watercolor crash course of 15 days starting 7th of October 2020. So do check out the playlist if you missed it or I hope to see you on the live session. Bye bye and have a great day.